Another day, another story. Dear subscribers, please feel free to leave a comment below letting us know which book summary you would like to see next. Disclaimer. The book summary provided is based on my interpretation and understanding of the book. The views and opinions expressed in the video are solely my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the author, publisher, or any affiliated parties. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only, and should not be considered as a substitute for reading the actual book. Author Introduction C.S. Lewis was a British writer and academic, best known for his works of fantasy fiction including The Chronicles of Narnia, series. He was born in Belfast, Northern Ireland in 1898 and went on to study at Oxford University, where he became a professor of literature. Lewis was also a Christian apologist and wrote several books on Christian theology, which continue to be widely read and influential today. He died in 1963, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most beloved and respected writers of the 20th century. Summary. The Last Battle, is the seventh and final book in the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. The book tells the story of the end of the world of Narnia, and the final battle between the forces of good and evil. The story begins with a donkey named Puzzle who has been tricked by a monkey named Shift into wearing a lion skin and pretending to be Aslan, the great lion and ruler of Narnia. Shift and a group of Narnian animals have been using this deception to gain power and control over the other animals. Meanwhile, the real Aslan sends two children from our world, Jill and Eustace, to Narnia with a mission to find the lost Prince Rillian, who disappeared many years ago. They are joined by a new character, a talking owl named Glimfeather, who tells them about the false Aslan and the danger he poses to Narnia. When they arrive in Narnia, Jill, Eustace, and Glimfeather quickly realize that something is not right. They learn about the false Aslan and the way in which Shift and his followers have been deceiving the other animals. They also discover that the real Narnia is in a state of turmoil, with many of the creatures divided and unsure of what to do. As the story progresses, Jill, Eustace, and their friends attempt to unite the different groups of animals and convince them that the false Aslan is not real. They also continue their search for Prince Rillian, and eventually find him imprisoned by an evil witch named the Lady of the Green Kirtle. With the help of the Marsh Wiggle Puddleglum, they free Rillian and bring him back to Narnia. Meanwhile, the false Aslan and his followers continue to gain power and control over Narnia. They eventually lead the animals into a trap, where they are captured by Kalermenes, a group of humans who have long been enemies of Narnia. The animals are taken to the city of Tashban, where they are forced to participate in a gladiatorial battle. At this point, Aslan appears to the children and gives them a new mission, to lead a group of faithful Narnians into battle against the forces of evil. Aslan tells them that this battle will be the final one, and that the fate of Narnia will be decided by its outcome. The final battle is long and difficult, but ultimately the forces of good prevail. The false Aslan and his followers are defeated, and Narnia is restored to its rightful state. However, many of the characters who fought in the battle do not survive, and the book ends with the children returning to our world, wondering if they will ever be able to return to Narnia. In the end, The Last Battle, is a story about the struggle between good and evil, and the importance of staying true to oneself and to one's beliefs. It is also a story about the power of love, friendship, and loyalty and the way in which these virtues can triumph over even the darkest of forces. Moral. The moral of, The Last Battle, is that good will ultimately triumph over evil, and that staying true to one's beliefs and values is essential in the face of adversity. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest content and be part of a community that shares your interests.
Today's quotes. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi. Thanks for watching.